There is news tonight about the largest recall of all time getting even bigger. Millions of vehicles being driven on roads with airbags that could potentially explode violently. There's word of another death linked to these Japanese-made Takata airbags found in vehicles of more than a dozen automakers. NBC's Ann Thompson with new details every driver should know. Tonight's recall affects both domestic and foreign automakers. Five million more vehicles with the potentially defective Takata airbags. The manufacturers impacted Audi, BMW, Daimler, Ford, Honda, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Saab, and Volkswagen. What we don't know tonight is what models are recalled. The action by NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, comes after Joel Knight's death last month. The 52-year-old father died when the driver's side airbag in his 2006 Ford Ranger exploded in a crash, a death one safety advocate says was preventable. This inflator had been recalled in 61 other countries by other manufacturers. Ford, NHTSA, and Takata all knew that this inflator had problems. The government says thousands of tests were run on that inflator and it never failed. Takata says it is cooperating fully with regulators. And Ford states, if we find an issue with our vehicles, we take prompt action to address customer safety. One million of the vehicles recalled tonight have airbag inflators similar to the one in Knight's crash. The others have inflators that did rupture during testing. The government calls this a massive safety crisis and says it is using all its tools to clean up the mess. A mess that has so far taken nine American lives, ten worldwide. Ann Thompson, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.